Hello, in this video we will be looking at the new enhancements in SWD 2017 for SWD CAM. This video will give an overview of one of the new enhancements for lead in and lead out, specifically new functionality to allow users to control lead in and lead out independently of each other. To show this functionality I will open up the bottom shelf of this TV stand. Firstly, I will specify the machine. In this case, I will just be using a basic G code post. I can also add in a program number in at this point. Next, I will assign the component position. If you have SWOT design on the machine, the orientation will be automatically set. If not, you can switch to manual specification of component positioning. For this video, I'll accept the SWOT design coordinate system. Next, I will add a tool and select milling from the command bar. Then I will apply a non-selective contour to the panel. In the top left corner of the operations window, you can now see a new option to allow us to control lead in and lead out separately. To see this clearly in the simulation, I will enter some exaggerated values. I will also at this point change the step down and bottom exceeding value on the operation. I can now accept the operation and simulate to review the toolpath to ensure I'm happy with the result. I'll speed up the simulation using the animation toolbar in the bottom left hand corner. Here you can clearly see the difference between the lead in and lead out. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact support.